You know, so many things come against us to kind of to knock us off course. And the Bible says, don't throw away your confidence. Don't throw it away. I just want to encourage you with this first song. Confidence is a fragile thing. It can fly away like a stone from a sling. Don't give up, encourage yourself. Tap into the untold well. The Lord is your strength and song. Though you are weak, He is strong. So don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. Your precious confidence in the Lord. Don't throw it away. Trusting the Lord. Confidence, it needs to be fed from the living water, holy bread. Take time to protect your heart. That's where a miracle starts. All things are possible. Only believe you shall receive. So my friend, don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. Precious confidence in the Lord. Don't throw it away. No. Precious confidence in the Lord. Don't throw it away. No, no, don't throw it away. Keep on trusting the Lord. What do you think you're going to go under? Keep trusting the Lord. The Apostle Paul wrote a little description of his ministry tour to the church at Corinth and he said he had one heck of a time. And uh, this is a little bit what he wrote. But he said, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. I was whipped Three times beaten with rods Once they tried to kill me with stones They left me for dead Three times I was shipwrecked Once spent a night and day in the sea But I suffered all of that Because I did what the Lord had said But I can do all things Christ who strengthens me He lifts me up when I fall to be More than I could be His grace is sufficient All the time Strength made perfect in weakness By power A lot of trouble in the country, a lot of trouble in the city, a lot of trouble with false Christians, you know, that's a real, real pity. A lot of work and toil, a lot of sleeplessness, hungry and thirsty, enduring the cold, even homelessness. But you know, 
I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He lifts me up, what a fall to be, more than I can be. His grace is sufficient all the time. Strength made perfect in weakness by power divine. Your road may be smooth, it may be rough, but the power of the Lord is more than enough. Christ defeated every foe. Let your heart know. Let it know. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He lifts you up to be more than you could ever be. His grace is sufficient all the time. Strength made perfect in weakness by power. He gives power. It keeps on giving, keeps on giving. Isn't the Lord a great restorer? Amen. You know, when the Lord restores, the Bible says he, he restores the years the locusts have eaten. How many of you have made mistakes in life or blown it? That's a good, honest church. You know, God cannot miraculously give you a time back. But God can miraculously fill you with so much joy, He heals you of your memory. And He can restore. And He can then start giving you bumper harvests. You know, in certain fields, if you're a really, really, really great farmer, you might get several tons of wheat per acre. But God can supernaturally give you loads per acre. And he fills you with a sense of joy and a sense of peace that, hey, even though I've blown it, I'm forgiven. And that intense joy just begins to heal you from the inside out. You know, when Jesus first picked up the scroll to Isaiah 61, when he was in the synagogue before he started his public ministry, he began to read from Isaiah 61. He said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. And it is incredible that Jesus never talked about physical healing first. He says, I've come to heal the broken hearted. Because the real sickness of, is, of man is within. It is not our physical conditions that we face. Call unto me and I will answer. Has anybody got the phone? <laughs> Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me to heal your broken heart. God heals broken hearts. Very often that leads to physical healing because the two are linked and he gives, he gives new beginnings and he fills you with joy your plans have failed dreams evaporated they drift away just like smoke The kingdom has crumbled 
treasures turn to dust now you're living without hope oh but god gives life to the dead by his grace makes all things new nothing now is impossible because his love surrounds you Your life's not over, there's a new beginning, yes, it's never too late, there's a new beginning, you can start again when you're in the hands of Jesus, not in the hands of faith, your heart is so heavy, only you know your guilt, you're the author of your circumstances by rights you know you should reap the harvest of your sin and its consequences oh but god is rich in love and we all wonder why he will never let your heart die yesterday's now say goodbye there's a new beginning your life's not over there's a new beginning oh it's never too late there's a new beginning you can start again when you're in the hands of Jesus, not in the hands of faith. Yes, there's a new beginning. Your life's not over. There's a new beginning. It's never too late. There's a new beginning. You can start again when you're in the hands of Jesus not in the hands of faith when you're in the hands of Jesus not in the hands of faith a little new song you might not know where it all began in fact you don't have to understand just believe Jesus died for you simply the same that he loves you oh but i thank god he didn't stay in the grave he rose from the dead with the power to save jesus has come to bring victory from curse of death he set you free you are redeemed by blood you are forgiven by grace you are set free by love jesus christ took your place you are redeemed by blood you are forgiven by grace you are set free by love jesus christ took your place yeah 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 and he was made sick to make you well all oh, this good news i just got to tell he took your disease and he took your pain I pray in your body God's power reign that he was made sin to make you right oh you stand clean in God's holy sight come on let's live in the God kind of way enjoy the blessing day after day you are redeemed by blood you are forgiven by grace you are set free by love Jesus Christ took your place now you are redeemed by love you are set free by grace you are set free by love Jesus Christ took your place you are redeemed by blood you are forgiven by grace you are set free by love Jesus Christ took your place yeah 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 you're getting the message this morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. He was made sick to make you well. All oh, this good news I've just got to tell. He took your disease and he took your pain. 
I pray your body God's power reign that he was made sin to make you right oh you stand clean in God's holy sight come on now to live in the God kind of way enjoy the blessing day after day you are redeemed by blood you are forgiven by grace you are set free by love Jesus Christ took your place yeah 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 can you see yeah 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 and again now yeah 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 and again now yeah 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 one more time yeah 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 would you say Love in his heart, dirt on his feet. Say again, love in his heart, dirt on his feet. That just sums Jesus. Gets right down to the nitty gritty. You know, I'm sure Jesus, if he was walking the earth as he was, as a recording in the Gospels, he would have upset an awful lot of religious people. Probably his favorite place was the pub. He was always in the pub. Talking about love and forgiveness, restoring people's lives. It's great praying for people in pubs. Have you ever done it? Praying for people on airplanes. Praying for them on trains. Oh, we haven't got that one. Walking down the dusty road Under the midday sun Jesus spoke to a woman by the well To spiral the wrong she'd done he was telling her there's a better way the sorrow could be like yesterday oh he's got love in his heart dirt on his feet he's got love in his heart dirt on his feet oh he's got love in his heart Dirt on his feet, and he loves you. Oh, he loves me. Jesus walked down the road and to the local bar. The religious people thought he'd blown it, gone a bit too far. He knows your emotions. He feels your pain. He's come to help you, not to blame. Oh, he's got love in his heart. Dirt on his feet. He's got love in his heart. Dirt on his feet. Oh, he's got love in his heart. Dirt on his feet. And he loves you. Oh, he loves me. Jesus fell when he carried the cross. He tasted the dirt. Dust blew into his wounds. Added to the hurt. Wounded for our transgressions. Bruised for our iniquity. The punishment that brought, brought us peace. Sing with me now. He's got love in his heart. He's got dirt on his feet. He's got love in his heart. He's got dirt on his feet. Ooh, he's got love in his heart. He's got dirt on his feet. Oh, he's got love in his heart. He's got dirt on his feet. One more. 
he's got love in his heart Dirt on his feet And he loves you Oh, he loves you Oh, how he loves you And he loves me You know, none of us go through life without pain. That's why Jesus is our healer. It's one lovely scripture that says, you know, in Psalm 23, Grace and mercy follow me. Why do they follow you? It's to clear up your mess. It's to do with our children when they were younger. They go around the house, they're making a huge mess, and I came up and cleared up all the rubbish that they've done. That's what the Lord does with our life. Grace and mercy. Clearing up be behind each one of us. Making things right. Healing you, restoring you, loving you. Any good news? God does not deal with us according to our iniquities, our sin, but according to his loving kindness and tender mercy. You know, some of us think we're just so wonderfully and holy, yet if we could put your thoughts and words on the screen for all of us to read, I think it would be a different story. You know, well, even what Jesus said, you know, the, the, the righteous people go, oh, you know, well, I haven't broken any law and I'm wonderful, you know, and Jesus started some, asking some questions. And uh, he said, oh, this one rabbi said, oh, teacher, oh, I, I've never committed adultery. He said, well, have you, have you ever looked at a woman lustfully? Uh, uh, um, 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 um. And this other person said, oh, I've always been good to everybody. Jesus said, have you ever hated somebody? In your heart, hate is like murder. Jesus gets right in where, where we are. When we become honest with him, the Bible says the Lord is near those who have a contrite, broken heart. Contrite means crushed like powder. When we become honest with the Lord, He raises us up and heals us and restores. And that which is bad in your life, God can paint once something wonderful in your heart. Even the good in life is frightening. I have one friend who said, he said, I'm terrified. I fear every day because I he said, I've got a wonderful wife, a wonderful children, a wonderful job. He said, every day I fear that doesn't make any sense and I'm going to leave it. I'm going to, even the goodness of life doesn't make sense. Because the good just can fly away in a season. The song talks about giving it all to the Lord. Giving it all and let him do a wonderful work in your life. In my life I've known the color blue Felt so down didn't know what to do and In my life I've known the color green Everything beautiful A perfect scene Many questions In this present tense But only you, Lord Make perfect sense So I give 
give you every shade of color of my life into your loving hands of relief so on the canvas of this heart please paint your masterpiece You know, one thing that really seems to be lacking in a lot of our lives is real peace. Depression is rampant in this nation. There are millions of people on antidepressants. The Lord prompted me to phone my friend up. I was driving to work. And uh, I said to my friend, how are you? He said, I'm okay. I said, no, you're not okay. That's the reason I'm calling you. I said, because I've been praying for you last night. And the Lord says to me, you're not w okay. He's not a Christian yet. I said, the Lord loves you. 
And he said, it's though his mind is out of control. He can't sleep at night. Worrying about this, worrying about that. And sometimes when you get into your 40s and 50s, I'm just there. Sometimes you look back on your life and you realize the futility of everything. You know, I had, I had reached everything I wanted to achieve in my early 30s. As far as sort of goals, about a house and a car, da 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 But you know, it didn't really bother me because th they weren't really, really important to me. They just happened. And the basis of all, f the major basis of fear and depression and anxiety is the fear of the futility of your life. And you don't understand that what Jesus gives is eternal. You know, I brought a nice car a few years ago, but you know that car is aging and dying. It's wearing out. My life does not revolve around having a nice car, having a nice house. It's nice, but it's just a thing. It's just a servant to drive me here this morning. When you really begin to think about your life, as a lot of people begin to do, they're filled with dread and awe. And in England, we don't like to talk about death, but I tell you, death is coming. You ain't going to escape it. At least of this physical body. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The Apostle Paul says, you know, if Christ is not risen from the dead, our hope is in vain. We might as well just go and get drunk because that's all the good that will do us. But he says our hope is not in vain. I believe the, the resurrection was such a mind-blowing miracle. That's why Jesus didn't just rise from the dead and go to heaven. For 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples. If that was me, the first day, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have believed what I'd just seen. But after the third or fourth week, faith would be rising in my heart. He even loved one of his disciples, Thomas, so much, he walked through the wall, frightened the living daylights out of him. And he said, Thomas, feel me, my flesh and blood. Then Peter, one of his disciples, ran off. He was so depressed. Jesus went to meet him by the shore but, and, he, and, and said, Come on, Peter. I can see you fish. Come, come and join me for breakfast. And Jesus ate, ate, ate some fish by the seashore. The Bible says on one occasion, over 500 people were in the same place to see Jesus risen. Isn't that amazing? Mary saw him alive. Jesus' brother James saw him. The whole family saw him. The whole community saw him. He didn't just hide away. He said, I am alive. This morning, the Lord wants to give you real peace. Not a temporary thing. A real peace that deep down inside you, you will know that you are saved. That you know that you have believed that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. That you this morning can say, Jesus, you are my Lord. And that's the beginning. That's all you need to do to say yes to Jesus. Because he wants to give you real peace. And I know my friend is going to find real peace. 
because real peace is found in Jesus. It ain't found in a successful career, a job, a big house, a big car, wonderful holidays, owning a boat, owning villas abroad, all these sorts of things all my friends have got doesn't mean anything. Jesus has come to give you his peace. I know sometimes life it ain't easy scenarios they play with your mind the night is your enemy the day's not your friend joy's been stolen Got no strength to defend. But he gets peace, a rare commodity. Peace, your soul seeks desperately. You know, and it's not there. It's like trying to grasp the air. Is peace, perfect peace. This stranger knocks on your door. another home You feel so powerless How can this be Why stay in a prison of doubt when Jesus can set you free he gives peace a rare commodity peace the soul seeks desperately and you know and it's not there it's like trying to crash the air he gives peace Perfect, perfect, perfect Lord is wonderful in me. I just want to say something that I've just felt that the Holy Spirit prompted me to say. The essence of life is, is relationships. The relationship with the Lord, as that flourishes, just heals every other relationship that's broken. It's amazing what is happening in our nation at this present time. It's not a political statement, but it, there's division, division, division. There's division in Europe, there's division in Germany, Netherlands, Spain, division. And you can see sometimes how the, the, the devil wants to attack the body of Christ, where there's division, division, 
division. And the Lord wants to begin healing his body. And we need to, as believers, just walk in love with each other. You know, Stephen and, and Janet Wood might not believe everything I believe and vice versa, but you know, we love each other. We just say, hey, you know, we're all on a journey, aren't we, hey? We all have different revelations, we're all at different journeys and spots on our, our way home. And um, the Lord wants you to walk in love because when you walk in love, you start getting free. And it's a beautiful place. So would you say after me, without love? Without love. That's all you need to say. Just sing with me when you get it. And this is the Paul, the Apostle Paul wrote this in the book of Corinthians. And he wrote a description of love. It's like this. Patient and kind Does not envy Doesn't seek its own Love's not puffed up or proud It's never rude Oh, how we need love to reign In every heart and home For without love We have nothing at all Without love Shall crumble and fall without love It's just a waste of time without love We cannot see the divine without love We have nothing at all without love We shall crumble and fall without love It's just a waste of time without love We cannot see the divine we need love itself, it's not provoked, it thinks no evil, it rejoices in truth, it does not rejoice in iniquity, love bears all, believes all, hopes all, and endures all things, love will never fail you. In the gifts of the Spirit, miracles and signs and wonders. But they're just all a show in vain if we don't love our sister and brother. But Jesus said, The world will know you're my true disciples. If you have love, yes, love one for another. Would you stand and sing with me? Would you stand? Oh, we
Halleluja. 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 I'm just going to sing a couple more. It's really on my heart, and then we're just going to pray. You may be seated. Or la- I don't know whether you feel far away from God or near to God. But all I know is that wonderful story recorded in Luke about the prodigal son. You know, I I never, never really believe people's faces anymore. You know, because human beings are, we're the biggest liars on earth, aren't we, hey? You know, we don't really tell the truth. We kind of hide it all in. So I don't know where you are with the Lord. But this morning, the Lord wants you to know that he loves you with all his heart. The Lord knows how you've blown it. The Lord knows how stupid you've been. And I've been. Yet he is full of love. And full of compassion on your life and my life. You know, just because I'm up here doesn't make me any more holier than you. No, it doesn't. I am standing here as a forgiven man. Don't leave this place without knowing how much Jesus loves you. That Jesus died for you. He rose from the dead for you. And at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven. Oh, that's good. Do you know, isn't that prophetic? Isn't that prophetic? What did the baby just say? I'm coming, Daddy. Daddy, I want to come home. You know, sometimes I've traveled the world singing. And um, we'll get some interpretation over there, I'm sure. (laughs) And we need some good child security at the moment. He's really wrestling this guy at the back. And there's that feeling. I remember when I was in Australia and that feeling, do you know, I'm a long way from home. I'm a long way from home. You might be feeling that, sensing that in your heart this morning. I'm a long way from home, from the Lord. But you know, Your daddy's looking out for you. Your daddy wants you to return. This is the story of the prodigal son. The first verse is the father. And the second verse is the son. Then then it goes back to the father again. Where is my son gone? I've looked everywhere. The horizon's empty, but my heart's filled with its care. He's taken all the money he was entitled to. If when he's coming back, I wish I knew the right to his own will. Deny. I had to let him go, so hard to say goodbye. But he's taken all he could, and he thinks he knows the best. Listen by his desire, of a futile quest. Son, I love you. Come 
own home to stay. Oh, dear son, I love you. You're welcome back any time, any day. Give me all your brokenness. I will make you whole. With my love, restore your soul. What would my father say? How can I return to him? Awaken to this nightmare, engulfed in my own sin. Feeling such a fool, I threw away all his words of wisdom. And I'm lost and lonely, so in need I feel none. I've spent all my money on stupid wild living in despair and shame now oh my god i'm dying i don't care if he rejects me but to my father i will run at least i can be a slave for i'm not worthy to be his son Son, I love you. Come on home to stay. Oh, dear son, I love you. You're welcome back any time, any day. Give me all your brokenness. I will make you whole. With my love, restore your soul. looking for my son in the early morning light suddenly I was captured with excitement came from a distant sight yes it is my son though he's still so far away I couldn't waste another second of this long awaited day so with all my might I ran with compassion Bursting in my heart At last I threw my arms around him I embraced the missing part Here's your robe, shoes my son Your ring of authority You're not a slave Time's galloping on. I'm just going to sing one more, and then we're going to pray. You know, Jan asked me for this one. Isn't that amazing? You wait all this time to sing a song, and she leaves. The Lord is good. The Lord is here in me. He just kind of keeps healing us. So many times when I sing, people just get healed and they just get set free. Because it's the Holy Spirit doing the work. I'm, I'm nobody special. I'm just somebody who just made themselves available, that's all. 
and and the Lord wants us to rise and renew our strength like the eagles anybody feeling a little bit weak this morning you're strong I'm beginning to run out of energy I only had a banana for breakfast and it's beginning to tell <laughs> don't worry my wife's put me on a strict diet see I've got to, I've got to lose weight but anyway that's another story <laughs> no the Lord is good isn't he Let's stand and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We praise you, Jesus. Right where you are, right where you stand it. If you need the peace of the Lord, just, just lift your hands and let the peace flow. Holy Spirit, flow. Flow right now. Holy Spirit. Flow with forgiveness. I just sent, sent somebody saying, but I can't be forgiven for that. This blood cleanses you from all unrighteousness. Some of you are not even sleeping at night. I command peace upon you. The peace of Jesus. 
some of you are even fighting depression. I speak the joy of the Lord into your life. In Jesus' name. Those of you who have got troubled minds, I sense it so strongly. Put your hand on your head and begin to pray. And I begin to pray for you right now. Jesus, Lord, set these minds free from trouble. Set these minds free from trouble. Break that burden of anxiety in Jesus' name. Break it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you for just ministering so lovely this morning. Those of you who've got pain in your body, just lay your hands where your pain is. command that pain to leave body in the name of Jesus. Pain leave necks in Jesus' name. Pain leave backs in Jesus' name. Pain leave. Leave in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just thank the Holy Spirit for ministering. just want to say one final thing as we end. If you've not given your life to Jesus, don't leave this building. Because he loves you so much. Don't leave this building without saying yes to Jesus. So just as, as every eye, please everybody, I close their eyes. Don't want to embarrass anybody. But if you want to be like the prodigal son and return to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm coming back to you. You know, the Father was full of compassion. He loves you, he loves you, he loves you, he loves you. If you want to come back to the Lord, or if, or if you've never given your life to Jesus, if you've never said, Lord, I'm going to make you Lord of my life, Jesus, I surrender my life to you, because I believe that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. If that's you this morning, why don't you lift your hand and say, I'm coming back to the Lord. Just lift your hand. Just lift your hand. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is good, His name. Please don't leave this building. If you want to talk to me, just talk to me. Of course, not in a way. Go away. Thank you, Lord. Have you been blessed today? Been good. Been good. Been good. So, When Lawson first came to sing that where eagles fly, I wasn't in a good place. I felt I was grounded. And that night that he played that, and I've played it many times since, it really set me free. And that's why I wanted him to sing it today. Amen. Thank you so much.